India recently announced plans to collaborate with France on developing a new engine for its fifth-generation advanced medium fighter jet and future aircraft models, addressing the long-standing heart disease issue plaguing the Indian Air Force's fighter fleet. India's Wired News website reported on the 26th that India has been steadily strengthening military cooperation with France in recent years to adapt to shifts in its relations with Russia and the United States. According to a report by the Times of India, on the 23rd, India's Defence Research and Development Organisation will soon submit an application to the Cabinet Committee on Security to formally initiate cooperation with France's Safran Group. The project will adopt a 100% technology transfer model with design, development, testing, certification, and production all conducted in India. The goal is to develop a new jet engine with a thrust of up to 120 kilonewtons to power India's fifth-generation advanced medium fighter and future aircraft models. Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has publicly confirmed this. We have taken steps to advance the manufacturing of fifth-generation fighters. We have also initiated domestic engine production. This project will be fully implemented in India through collaboration with Francis Safran Group. The India-France joint venture is projected to cost nearly $7 billion. Notably, this marks another major defence contract secured by a French defence firm in India. Previously, the Indian Navy selected France's Rafale fighter jet as the next-generation carrier-based aircraft for its aircraft carrier, rejecting the competing US-made F-18 Super Hornet. Safran Group has long cultivated the Indian market and is regarded by India as a reliable partner. The engines jointly developed by Safran and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited power multiple Indian-made helicopters, with their reliability proven in actual service. Additionally, Safran has established a maintenance center in Hyderabad. Providing services for LEAP engines on Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 MAX commercial aircraft, as well as M88 engines for the Indian Air Force's Rafale fighters. Reports indicate that unlike Indian-made helicopters equipped with French engines, domestically produced fighter jets have long suffered from a lack of qualified engines. India previously ordered F404 jet engines from General Electric to power its indigenous Tejas fighter. However, Delivery delays by the U.S. manufacturer severely hampered the aircraft's production schedule. Wired News reported that the severe delays in Tejas deliveries have left the Indian Air Force's fighter squadron strength at an all-time low. To address this capability gap, the Indian Air Force recently decided to purchase 97 Tejas Mark I fighters, aiming to bolster India's indigenous defense manufacturing industry and expand its fighter fleet. However, this initiative is also constrained by the pace of U.S. deliveries of F-404 engines. The Indian Air Force's current mainstay fighter fleet comprises Russian-made Su-30 MKIs, French Rafale fighters, and domestically produced Tejas aircraft. This diverse mix poses significant logistical challenges for maintenance. Even within the Tejas program alone, the aircraft faced the dilemma of operating with different engine types simultaneously. For instance, the Tejas MK-2 fighter has confirmed selection of the American F-414 engine. The early variants of India's fifth-generation advanced fighter, provisionally designated for the first two squadrons, will also adopt the F-414 until the new generation engine, jointly developed with France, becomes operational around 2035. The news website, Wired, reported that India and the United States approved a production license cooperation agreement for American-made F-414 engines worth between $1.5 billion and $2 billion in 2023. However, the prolonged tariff dispute between India and the United States has cast a shadow over related negotiations. Based on current metrics, the thrust of the next-generation engine jointly developed by India and France is roughly equivalent to that of the F-414, offering no significant advantage. Critics therefore argue that India's decision to select two engines for its fifth-generation fighter will introduce numerous additional risks. Wired reports that an experienced Indian fighter pilot warned that opting for two different engines would add extra complexity and difficulty to the ANCA program. Fighters are designed around their power plants, the aircraft's dimensions, air intakes, cooling systems, fuel flow, center of gravity, and thrust-to-weight ratio, all these core metrics depend on the engine. Replacing an aircraft's engine necessitates redesigning the airframe, air intakes, and flight control systems, leading to increased costs and extended testing cycles for the fighter development program. Indian Air Force pilots and mission planners would also require separate training programs, 
daily maintenance routines, and manuals tailored to each engine variant, further amplifying complexity. Supporters argue that despite these challenges, the India-France collaboration will grant India full intellectual property rights and production licenses for advanced engines, potentially establishing a complete aerospace engine supply chain. Reports indicate that under the Framework Agreement for India's F-414 engine acquisition program with the United States, while the U.S. will transfer 80% of engine technology, this excludes the most sensitive thermal barrier coating technology and the engine's overall intellectual property. Technologies firmly controlled by General Electric, Indian officials stated that while Hindustan Aeronautics Limited may gain access to machining and coating technologies for single crystal turbine blades through the partnership, it is and likely to obtain the critical casting processes essential for high-performance engines. Additionally, the Full Authority Digital Electronic Control Software managing engine performance and safety is expected to remain under GE's control. The report indicates this situation aligns with Washington's long-established export control culture, where advanced technologies are strictly regulated by U.S. suppliers. In contrast, the Next Generation Engine co-development proposal submitted by Francis Safran Group offers India 100% technology transfer. This provides India with access to advanced engine design and manufacturing expertise, enabling it to achieve autonomy in independently designing, upgrading, and maintaining aircraft engines over the long term. This move will strengthen India's strategic autonomy in fighter jet engine development and reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers. Reports indicate that the defense research and development organization can independently modify and upgrade the engine, customize production according to Indian military requirements, and export it without requiring Safran's approval. Analysts note that India has been actively pursuing diversification in defense cooperation in recent years. Russia has traditionally been India's primary supplier of major weaponry, including fighter jets, main battle tanks, rocket artillery, and long-range air defense systems. However, in recent years, Particularly following the Russia-Ukraine conflict, India has faced Western pressure and declining Russian arms delivery capabilities. Consequently, India has increasingly sourced weapons from other nations, such as South Korea's K-9 self-propelled howitzers and Germany's next-generation conventional submarines. Among these, U.S. arms sales to India have drawn the most attention, with Washington exporting P-8I anti-submarine patrol aircraft, Apache attack helicopters, and C-17 heavy transport aircraft. However, numerous political restrictions attached to U.S. arms exports have gradually complicated U.S.-India military cooperation. The news website Wired noted that France has proven to be a more reliable military partner, having long supplied India with equipment such as Alouette helicopters, Mirage 2000 and Rafale fighter jets, and Scorpion-class conventional submarines.